What's up, you guys? Welcome to another Clean With Me. You guys, we are going to be tackling a refrigerator organization today. We're going to be tidying up this kitchen and we're gonna be doing a little bit of food prep. So hang on tight, you guys, because you're gonna be getting so much motivation in this video. So let's get started. If you guys enjoy cleaning motivational videos, hacks, and things like that, make sure that you guys are subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment section. So you guys, we're gonna start over in the kitchen, obviously, like this is the go-to. You guys, this is always the biggest space for me that I'm constantly having to tidy up. I'm constantly having to clean it. It is like the catch-all place for me. And I feel like that this is like the biggest place that I have to spend the most time in. Do you guys have a place like this in your home that you guys are constantly having to spend you know, so much time cleaning. Let me know down in the comments. Is it your kitchen? Is it your bathroom? Is it your living room? What is it for you? Because it is definitely the kitchen for me. So we're gonna be starting over here and we're gonna be tidying up and getting things just things just kind of tidied up today. And then for the next day, we're gonna come in and we're gonna go ahead and start doing some of this other stuff. I've got food prepping to do. I've got the refrigerator I need to clean. And we're gonna get all of those done right here. Also, if you guys have been following my channel, you guys will notice probably some in this video that we have tore out our tile. So we actually have completely built this kitchen from scratch and we do have those videos that you guys can go watch in this channel. So make sure that you're checking that out if you've not seen those. But we are working on this tile and honestly, my husband and I have been back and forth about what we're going to do. And I think we may end up going with laminate. It has just been a hassle with this floor. So you guys just stay tuned for that because that's gonna be coming. But if you are guys are seeing that just all tore up, that's what's going on right now. We're kind of like in the in-between. Okay, you guys, so this is the next day and these flowers are needing their fresh up. So about once a week I come in here and I go ahead and I clean out the vase, put fresh water in here and add my sugar to the water. So if you guys have not seen my other videos, um, whenever I get a bouquet of flowers, I always like to freshen these up every week. You can see that mold, that's just a week. Um, mold has kind of started to attach itself to some of these um, stems. And so I'm just gonna rinse those off really good with nice, um, you know, kind of like a cool, but like warm water. Um, and then I'm going to cut the stems. And then I like to add sugar to my water. So I'll just make sure my vase is cleaned out really, really well. And then I add sugar to the water. And then this is gonna freshen them up for the week. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay. 
So as you guys can see here, I am running water over the stems constantly because um, this just helps them to feel like that they're constantly in water. Um, I was just always taught that this is something that you should do. Um, it really helps your flowers to not feel like they're in shock. They're just, you know, they just have their stems cut. Um, and then you're going to just stick them straight into the water. And then I'm gonna reorganize them. If there's any like loose flowers, anything that's kind of looking like it's dying or whatever, I go ahead and I just pull those out on this bouquet. There's nothing dead yet or anything like that. There were some flowers that had kind of fallen off. And so I will take those away. But other than that, like for the most part, these stayed pretty healthy. So now we're gonna start on the food prepping. So basically all I'm going to do is just go ahead and add some chicken to the pan and get that started. And then we're gonna start cutting our vegetables. So I don't know if you guys have seen this hack or not, but don't cut your peppers, like, you know, cut off the stem first, turn them upside down and then cut them uh, basically along the creases and then pull those apart and it comes out perfectly around the top seeded part. So all you have to do is take that apart and just throw it in the trash. You guys, this will change your whole world <laughs> for cutting your peppers. So now we're starting on the zucchini and the squash and you guys, the zucchini. So a lot of people will go ahead and peel the skin and the outer layer off. But I will tell you, if you can sand it, um, keep that skin on there because a lot of the skin in, I mean, this goes for fruits and things like that too, but um, it contains a lot of the nutrients that your body needs. So if you can keep that stuff on there, do it because then your body is going to get a lot of the nutrients that it needs um, coming from those vegetables or those fruits. So as we go here, you guys, we're going to be kind of multitasking. You guys are going to see a lot of me kind of going back and forth. We're going to cut up a watermelon. We're going to be making sure that we're continuing to stir the stuff that is going on. We're going to be cutting things and chopping things. And then we're going to be prepping the fridge to get ready to get cleaned. So you guys just hang tight. We're going to be kind of going back and forth here. So here I am using some spices. So I do have my chicken and my vegetables there. I am using some minced uh, onions. I'm also using some garlic salt. I'm using some cumin and I'm using, I believe it was a little bit of cinnamon. And uh, I'm trying to remember if there was another one, but I'm pretty sure those are like the main spices that I was using in that. And I will just make like a big batch of this. And I mix that with like some rice. Um, and I think I use like the Uncle Ben's rice, but um, I just mix all of that together and that gets me through like several meals throughout the week. And here you see me using this very long knife. Um, this knife is actually very sharp. It was one that my mom got me and I was going to share that with you guys, but I actually have no idea what the brand is on that. I may be able to get that information from my mom, but 
this knife is sharper than snot. I'm not even kidding you. Um, it scared the living daylights out of me. I did not want the kids using it. And so the sheath actually is so crazy. Okay, so I put this in the drawer. Somebody went rustling around in the drawer one day and they found the knife, which I stuck back into the box because I didn't want the kids just using it like a knife, you know? And so somebody had stuck it on the counter and then somebody else came along and threw it into the trash because they thought it was trash. And so we ended up figuring it out before it like ended off, you know, carried away to the city trash and so we pulled it back out it was still in the box the box was ruined and all of that stuff we washed the knife um so i had to make my own sheath for the knife and then stick it all the way back into the back of the drawer because i do not want anybody using this unless there's you know adult supervision going on because it is very very sharp like it works so good Okay, you guys, this refrigerator is an absolute disaster. I have just let it go. And I mean, other than taking old foods and things like that out, it's just pretty much just doing its own thing. Um, the organizational process had lasted for quite some time, but you know, I just didn't, haven't really came in here in the last couple of weeks and just made sure that things were put where they go and blah, blah, blah. And I just really wanna kinda take everything back out, wipe everything down again, which it's not too bad. It's really not that bad, but the organizational process of this entire refrigerator is like, you, you saw the mess. Okay, so we're gonna get in here, pull everything out, wipe everything down, and then put everything back in to where it is easily accessible. I'm vacuuming my refrigerator. <laughs> you guys, I have found that I can actually use, utilize the tools that you have in your home. Um, the bottom drawer, it is so hard to get out, first of all, because the way that my refrigerator is posi positioned and everything else. And so it, I've just found it easier to just get the vacuum in there and suck up whatever might be in there and then wipe it out. She's still waiting, I wish 
wish I could dream about somebody else I wish I could talk when the silence so loud I wish, oh I wish I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could do something that would make sense I wish I would know what you're thinking about I wish I so these little trays, you guys, a little hack, you guys can get these at the Dollar Tree. I bought them at the Dollar Tree and then you can use them for your Coca-Cola. You can use them for your jars like I have to separate, you know, the jarred stuff from the condiments, like whatever. You just separate stuff and it makes it very handy and very dandy. So if you guys are looking for something that is not very expensive, but something that you can use to kind of help break stuff up in your refrigerator, go to the Dollar Tree because they have some really cool stuff there. Now that our names are written in stone, let's be honest, sounds like home. Still I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone. I wish I could wipe my own memory out. I wish I could dream about somebody show this here but on top of that gallon jug right there is actually an electric so like if you were to go to the refrigerator and get your water it's an electric dispenser right so these are dispensers that I got off of Amazon I'm not even kidding you I think it was $13 13 to between 15 13 to 15 dollars um and i got two of them and you can stick them inside of your milk jugs and just put your cup up next to it and it dispenses your milk out of the milk jug it will change your whole world i'm telling you so a lot of these links of the different things that i'm talking about are going to be down in the description box so make sure that you guys are checking those out if you are looking for things like these So you guys, this is going to conclude our clean today. You guys, we got so much done and I was able to tackle so much in my kitchen and in my refrigerator and this just feels so much better um, to just have this space done. So I hope that you guys got so much motivation here. Make sure that you guys are subscribing and until next time, we'll see you on the next one.